Hi, I'm Peter Hayek and work as a senior engineer at Tomio. I will talk about alerting on high and low traffic using SLO. First, let me introduce our use case. Omeo is a Berlin-based unicorn that allows millions of travelers to search, compare, and book multimodal journeys. We work with more than 1,000 partners and have hundreds of integrations to third-party services. This talk is about the error rate alerting on the booking integration services. Booking services have, in general, fewer events compared to search, for example. Because in search, you usually have thousands of events per every minute, while in booking, you often have hundreds of events per hour only. And in our case, we have uh, top booking services, which have hundreds of events per, uh, per hour, but we also have a tiny services, which have just units of events per day. Another concern for, for us is that the peak and off-peak traffic differs significantly. And uh, some of the third parties generate quite high volume of incidents. We wanted to come up with alerting for the booking integration services, which will have the following requirements. First, it will be actionable. So we will have no false, false alerts. It will trigger on short-term and long-term issues. By short-term, I mean, for example, full outage in the past five minutes. While for the long term, I mean that it will trigger on some smaller increases in the error rates in the past hours. It will work for high and low traffic services, and it will also work during the peak and off-peak hours. To solve the first requirement, actionability, we took the SLO approach based on Google SRE workbook. SLI, in our case, is the error rate, and error budget is the monthly allowed amount of errors as per the SLO. And we say that the alert is generally actionable if the error budget is in danger. Second uh, requirement for capturing long-term and short-term incidents was solved by using multi-window, multi-burn rate alerts. And what, what it is, we will have three alerting windows, one hour, six hour, and three days. And each of that windows will have different error rate threshold and also different purpose. The one hour window is there to capture the short-term incidents, like full outage in the past five minutes. Well, the three days window is there mainly to capture the long-term um, issues, like some smaller increases in the error rates. As said, each of the windows will have different error rate threshold. And to calculate it, there is a key constant called burn rate. It represents how fast is the incident burning your error budget. And uh, the error rate threshold of the alert window is then calculated as 1 minus SLO multiplied by the burn rate. The error rate thresholds of the windows, if we consider, for example, SLO of 99%, would be that one hour will have the burn rate of 14.4, and the error rate threshold would be then 14%. While the three days window with the burn rate of one will have the error rate threshold as 1%. Each of the windows, uh, is triggering a different alerting channel. So one hour and six hour windows are calling the on-call duty, while the three days window is creating a ticket and posting a Slack message. And you might ask, is the alerting fast enough? And we can actually calculate this. If we again consider example of 99% SLO, and we will have 300 events per hour, and full outage of the service, which means 100% error rate incident, you can see that the one hour window will notify us in eight minutes. Six hour and three days window will notify you later. And if you would like to have shorter time to alert, you have to increase the SLO. And what about having uh, some 5% error rate incident? In such a case, one hour and six hour windows will not trigger at all because their error rate threshold is simply above the error rate of the incident. But the three days window will still capture it and it will notify you in 14 hours. And what about the alert going back to OK state when the incident is over? To have it fast, we need to split windows into two sub windows. So, for example, one hour window will also have 10 minutes sub window. And we say that both sub windows have to have the error rate above the threshold in order to trigger the alert. So on the left-hand side, you can see the situation of alerting. That means that both one hour and 10 minutes windows are on the area of the incident. On the right-hand side, you can see that the 10 minutes window has already left the area of the incident. 
And that means that the alert will go back to OK state. So we have a solution that works great for high traffic services. So let's say for services with more than 300 events per hour. But it doesn't work well for low traffic services out of the box. If you just consider a case that you have a service with 10 events per hour, just realize that just two errors means that the error rate is straight away 20%. So having the alert win with windows of one hour, six hour, and three days would be simply unstable. We have to ensure that we'll have enough samples per window in order to have reasonable error rates calculated. And to solve this, we take three measures. First, we use longer windows for low traffic services. So instead of one hour, six hour, and three days, we use longer windows like 10 days and 30 days for the smallest services which we have. And we have presets of time window combinations which we use as per the traffic of the current service. With this, we ensure that in general, the windows should have enough samples. Another measure is that the SL targets are way lower for low traffic services. So for example, 90% instead of 99%. And you can also realize that the customer impact is way lower for low traffic services compared to the ones with high traffic. And the last measure which we take is that we create um, an aggregated SLO for all services together. This one will have high, higher SLO and is there to capture the overall issues of the platform, which are common to all services. The last concern to tackle was the peak and off-peak uh, hours. As you can see, in our case, the off-peak is very significant. And it can still happen that during the off-peak, the window will not have enough samples and might be unstable. To solve it, we are doing two measures. So first, we ignore the shortest window at off-peak, which means uh, that instead of having one hour, six hour, and three days as we use during the peak time, we use just six hour and three days, and we ignore the one hour window. And by ignoring, I mean that the window is keeping the last state of the alert. The second measure to improve stability is that we require at least 13 events in the shorter sub window. Otherwise, again, we keep the last state of the alert. Our technical solution works with usage of Grafana for charts and alerts, Graphite as a metric source, and custom Grafana templates generated by script, which are applied by Terraform. The takeaways. The SLO approach is for us very beneficial and works great for high and low traffic services. We found that it's very important to optimize for actionability. Otherwise, you will be overwhelmed by the amount of alerts which, will get, which you will get. It's also important to keep in mind that you need to ensure enough samples in each window. And last, the long window has to create uh, tickets, not just Slack messages. Otherwise, it's hard to track the resolution of the incident. Here are some resources. And thank you for listening.